Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. my people. <laughs> Stop so I can film my intro. Good morning, my people. I had a few requests to do like a morning routine, so I thought, no. I thought uh, I can kind of show you guys what I do every single morning. So the first thing I do, which actually Cody did today, we kind of swap off, is take Jackson out to go pee. He normally will cry around like 8 a.m. Then the second thing I do is I'll have my guinea pigs start squeaking at me. So what I do for them is I cut them up a bowl of veggies. So we have uh, romaine lettuce, cilantro, red bell pepper, and then sometimes I'll also put cucumber. We're actually out of that right now. So I'll just grab this for them, and they basically just get a cup of this every morning. Hi. Good morning, Cookie. Oh, what do we have here? You have Dad's shoe? No. Good morning. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Say hi. Next step of my morning routine is feeding Jacks. <laughs> Next step. God, this coffee is so freaking good i bought it from sprouts like the whole bean and i think it's the bulletproof and it's amazing and then i just put almond milk so this one's actually i guess it's still technically a vanilla almond milk latte because it has vanilla almond milk in it but i normally would add like the vanilla like sweetener and i didn't do that today and actually i haven't been doing it at all recently and it's been really really good hi buddy oh you just waiting with pee with cody hi hi Good morning! Jackson's gonna be seven months, you guys, in like a week. Oh, I think in this video I want to go over my workout split. So I guess I can kind of talk about that right now while I'm drinking my coffee. My workout split, I feel like I've never been one of those people that has like set days of like when they do things. I kind of just like do the muscle group that like isn't sore or I feel like my weeks just change a lot so it's hard to like have like set days. I will say that I am weightlifting again about like five times a week and yesterday, so Monday was yesterday and normally I like to start my weeks with legs. Legs is personally like one of my favorite muscle groups to train and also I really like getting it out of the way on Mondays. I feel like leg days, although they're my favorite, I feel like they're one of the hardest because it's like I would say it's like the day that I go the heaviest on things, so leg day is typically Mondays, but again, I'm not one of those people that really like sets uh, exact like workout days. So what I'll do is like legs and glutes, and the way that I work out is I will do cardio either 20 minutes before or after my workouts. I'm kind of swapping like which one I like. I feel like in the beginning with finish I always did it after, then the last like year I've done it before, and now I'm kind of switching back to after because I feel like, Jackson, I'm trying to film, baby. He doesn't understand. <laughs> I feel like if I do my cardio before, I'm like really tired and I feel like that kind of takes away from my weightlifting workouts. So I've been doing it after again. Uh, so five days a week, 20 minutes of cardio after my workouts. And then uh, I basically will do six different exercises and I'll repeat that for three or four sets. Sometimes I'll do eight, but it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing legs, I typically only do six because you're gonna be so exhausted. So just one muscle group. And then my next split would be back and biceps so that's not necessarily always on Tuesdays it could be any day of the week but that is definitely a split I incorporate every single week typically I'll do eight for that so I'll do like four back and four bicep and I'll repeat every single exercise for uh three or four sets next split I've been incorporating incorporating in recently is going to be chest and triceps so 
I used to do chest and triceps a lot in the beginning of my fitness journey and then I kind of stopped for a while and now I feel like it's really important to work out every single muscle because you want to make sure you're building like a nice like well-rounded physique. Typically I do my workouts with two different muscle groups so it'll be back and biceps, chest and triceps, then I will do like a shoulder day. Typically with shoulders it's kind of up in the air. Sometimes you can make shoulders with legs, I've done that a bunch, or you can do shoulders and core or sometimes shoulder days are for when I don't have like as much energy and I just want to go in and get a quick like 30 minute workout in. I'll just like blast my shoulders and I'll be dead because like I feel like if you're only doing one muscle group, there's only so much you can do because your body's going to give out, at least for me. Like if I'm doing only shoulders, I'm done by like the sixth exercise. As well as weight training, I do like, like to add in some hit slash full body days. So I guess if I'm being realistic, I never work out more than like five days a week. So normally I work out Monday through Friday and my rest days are Saturday and Sunday. This last week I actually took off Friday and worked out Saturday. So basically if I miss a day during the week, I'll make up for that with a weekend. But it's typically always five days. Your rest days are so freaking important, you guys. I feel like a lot of people like overlook rest days. But your rest days are just as important as your training day. So remember that and really give your body that time to relax. So yeah, so that's kind of what I do. And then my hit full body days are typically like I'd say like 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes uh so I'm sorry for the dog barking I hope you guys can actually hear me hit slash full body days I'll kind of like mix like abs like hit style movements like jumping arms and I'll repeat that for four sets and then I'll also do cardio on top of that and I'm dead on those days those days are like to get a nice sweat in to get in and out of the gym and it's super effective so that is kind of my workout split guys I hope it helped you let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below I would love to answer them for you but I've been really liking my new workout style. I feel like it's my body's been really adjusting well to it. I feel like I'm breaking out of a plateau finally because I've been really pushing myself. So I'll keep you guys updated on my progress, but I'm excited. Okay guys, checking in. I'm just like kind of struggling with energy today. I feel tired. I don't want to do anything. So uh, I'm going to try to take a shower and see if it helps me feel better. It wakes me up a little. But I want to show you guys a package from Tula real quick because I'm going to wash my face with the cleanser in the shower. So they sent me their super calm, gentle milk cleanser. I've never used this. So we'll just have to see. It looks like this. So I'm going to use this in the shower. They also sent me the super smooth, calming, moisturizing lotion. So I'm assuming you're going to use this after the shower. So we'll go over that after I take a shower. If you have a discount code with Tula, I'll pop it somewhere on the screen for you guys. If you want to save 20%, I genuinely love their stuff and use it every single day. Like this is the one I normally use and it's almost gone. I need a new one. So I am fresh out of the shower and I basically read the instructions for this new like uh, lotion that Tula came out with. And it just says to like use a dime size amount on clean skin like morning and night. So what I thought about the cleanser is that it is like very gentle. It's like very liquidy. Uh, so it feels very like smooth when it goes on your skin, but it smells really good and my skin feels very soft, it's very gentle on your skin if that's what you're worried about. Like if you have like super like um, sensitive skin that gets irritated really fast, then I feel like this would be like a good cleanser for you. I finally got that off. Okay, so we're gonna put a dime size. Done. That's about it. And I'm just gonna put some of this on my face. Oh wow, it feels so good. It's like so freaking soothing. Like I feel like my face is gonna be super soft. Oh yeah, I feel so good. I feel like I get really dry like around my lips and like my nose. Oh yeah, highly recommend this and this feels so good. It definitely feels very like light and soothing on my face. I'm a big fan. I was thinking that, well, first of all, let me start over. Crock-Pot recipes seriously saved my freaking life. So right now I'm going to make um, fajitas. And this is a super simple like fajita recipe for you guys to try. All you need is two bell peppers, one onion, like a jar of salsa and chicken. And you just put that all in your slow cooker and you let it cook. <laughs> Okay, so bell pepper and onion are done. So I wanted the onions to be like pretty like big chunks. So they'll be nice and good in the fajitas. And then like the bell peppers are pretty big chunks too. All right, so honestly, the last step is just to add in your chicken breasts, 
salsa and some seasonings. So for the seasonings, I got a little friend. No, buddy. Um, so for the seasonings, I've got chili powder, cumin, salt, pepper, and some of the garlic powder. finished product it doesn't look very pretty but it's gonna be delicious so I'm gonna place the lid on this and we're gonna cook it for about five hours we are going to go get some food and just kind of like go outside and like enjoy the weather for a little bit we've been like working on our computers like straight today so we're gonna get some sun get some food take some content photos I'm in like the warrior crop also in the seamless leggings so I wanted to kind of like pair those two together sorry my camera's on my dash to you know give you guys different ideas for like ways you can pair the outfits so that's what we're doing we're taking a little jackson with us two iced vanilla lattes with almond milk yeah, we're gonna get um, a backyard club right. and then um the southwest chicken wrap thank you thank you i'm gonna bring it up to you sounds good okay. This place is so relaxing. <laughs> Under a tree. How many coffees have we had today? This is your number three. I never finished any of them though. You're just a waster. <laughs> we got uh, iced vanilla lattes with almond milk. Big surprise. Wow, that's a really unique drink. Super never original. That before, ever. Cheers. No. Nope. <laughs> So I got like a, oh my god, I forgot what this is called. Uh, I think it's called a Southwest Chicken Wrap. So it has like chipotle sauce, lettuce, tomato, chicken, black beans, and like corn. And it's like wrapped up in a spinach tortilla. And then Cody got the Backyard Club, which is also my favorite. It's like a turkey, bacon, avocado sandwich. I feel like you're a server right now. Oh, what? My hand just got super dirty. Polly, did you touch that? I don't know, but I feel like you're a server right now because I'm, I had like the biggest bite of food in my mouth and you're like yeah. pointing the camera at me and I'm like, <laughs> I know when they walk by you have a mouthful of food. One moment, there's a truck. <laughs> this is, <laughs> truck's so loud. This is our favorite, <laughs> I'm so done. Okay, I think it's done. This is our favorite coffee shop with like food. It's freaking so good and it's perfect for Jackson. He has so much fun, so. Mm. Let's get the first bite. Yum. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm. <laughs> it's the best food ever. I'm sure the people love this. Hi, buddy. We found this cool like industrial looking place uh, So this is gonna be our first like location we're shooting photos at so I'm taking content in the brand kit collection And then Cody's taking content for his driving Cody company and it's really pretty outside right now There's like a nice breeze. So it's relaxing. I got my dog. I got my coffee. Life's good You know the drama is never Jackson's ready for his close-up. <laughs> Hi cutie, I love you. So we finished up our little mini photo shoot. Uh, we got a lot of cool photos, so I'll pop them in this video. Now we're just waiting for Cody to go pee real quick and we're down in Carlsbad Beach and we're gonna take the little puppers on a walk. Place 
Get it. You ready to go home eat some pitas? Definitely. My legs are broken from yesterday. I don't oh know if you God. recorded any of that, but. No, I didn't record the workout, but I told them we did legs, and it was a killer workout. Yeah. I'm just excited to eat right now because that's been cooking all day. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, guys, so here is the finished product for the fajitas. So I just put pico, cheese, lettuce, and then some lime on the side. And that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. We had a long day and Jackson's been a little hassle like a newborn baby. He's been annoying. We're beat. We're tired. So hopefully he goes to sleep soon. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it. If you did like this video, please, you see what I mean? <laughs> Jackson! Shut up, dude! If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Baby.